guys, I would just like to thank you for clicking on this video. I do realize that my upload rate has gone down due to laziness, I mean school. But without further ado, I present to you a brand new glitch that I found. I discovered this glitch during the second week of Destiny 2. I have no proof, but you'll just have to take my word for it. This glitch is absolutely insane, and also I've researched people who have done a video of this, and none of them cover some of the places I'm about to show you, but I will show you some of the places other people did cover, like NVUS Gaming. With this glitch, you can get into the Exodus Crash Strike. Let's see how. So first off, go to Nessus and fast travel to Exodus Black. You'll then spawn here. Pull out your ghost and follow my lead. Once you make it here, turn the corner and keep going. You'll eventually hit a barrier that denies you access to Prodromus Down. Let's find out how to bypass this barrier. So backtrack a little to where we first entered. Jump on top of this box and look up. There should be a little gap. Make sure to jump through it and you're already out of the map. Then, you want to jump on those rocks there. This will be a little bit of parkour, but that's fine. Actually, there's a lot of parkour coming up. So, you're going to want to jump on these rocks, and you'll be able to then jump over this hill. The rails on this side of the wall here that I just jumped on are very easy to walk on, and I highly consider jumping on them. To the left, there's this big open area, but you are not able to go over there. But straight ahead is Prodromus Down. Make sure to jump on another rail, because as you can see, I can't really go forward. So if you jump on this rail right here, and you can parkour your way, jump right here, take a right, and you are ready to go to the next step. So as you can see, I'm like completely out of the map now. So to my left, I cannot really go, but straight here where I'm pointing at, I can definitely go there. And that is where the beginning of the Strike Exodus crash is. Then there is going to be a gap in the ground to my right. And this is the other side of the barrier. This is that barrier I just shot at is a completely different barrier than the one I showed you before. But we, we can actually drop down on this barrier and stand on it and do tricks and stuff and whatever we want. And it's actually kind of cool because this barrier is like really, really skinny and you can just jump on it and start dancing and stuff. Once you're done dancing, you can drop to one side of the barrier and you will be in the Exodus Strat Crash area, which is the nightfall this week, so make sure to go do that. Anyways, if you backtrack enough, you will be able to go and hit the barrier that we couldn't bypass before, which is right in front of me. Now, now that you're in here, there's no way out, so what you have to do is fast travel back to Exodus Black. Hey, guess what? I'm already back here. Movie magic. You might never know how to do that. No, I'm just kidding. Probably everybody knows how to do a simple cut. Anyway, so I'm back here and I'm jumping on the rails, which is a very efficient way of getting around. But now we're going to go into the main prodromus down area. And we are not going back into that hole of which you cannot get out. But when you get into this prodromus down area, there there will also be no turning back. There's, there's, there's just no way out. So we're just down there. But now we're going to come down here and watch out. There's like a lot of holes and you can fall into them. So you can drop down and just explore this area without any enemies or interferences. So now I'm just going to kind of like speed up the gameplay. Oh my god, that was close. We shall never speak of that again. Anyways, so it's really, really cool. And I'll see you guys when I make it to the other side.
back here again. So, like I said, once you're done exploring that Prodromus down area, you will have to teleport back to the Exodus Black. Pretty much every single different place I'm going to be showing you here will involve you having to go back to Exodus Black when you want to leave. So, now we're going to be going to the most exciting part that I don't think anybody has covered on this spot yet. So, instead of going down to in that like in that barrier area or to the prodromus down turn around and there's going to be a gap here in the ground that you can actually drop down and go underneath the map now if you're down here and you want to go back up the the floor that is that was above you that you dropped down from it disappears so don't be intimidated and be like oh my god where the hell did the floor go? I don't know how to get back up. I'm showing you how to get back up right now. So, like, you can see it now, but if you drop down, you will no longer be able to see it like I am going to show now. As you can see, it's gone, but if you jump onto this pillar here, now you can see it. So, there you go. So, now what you want to do is drop down right onto the floor there. Now, it's pretty crazy, and there's a lot of cool places to go to here, but where I am now, there's nowhere to go, so you want to drop down, but I'll still show you either way. So, you can come down here, and there's, like, literally nothing, and you can just look and stuff, and it's all cool, but it's not cool enough. Then you can take a right down here, and there's going to be some light to our right again. Wow, right light, bright light. And then there's like a little gap here that you can't go through, but it leads to nowhere. So it doesn't even matter. So if you want to do some intense parkour, then just just watch this, but I don't think any of you want to do some intense parkour. So you know what? I'm just going to skip this part. You can drop down to here, but do not drop down to here because there's an easier method of doing this. Now I have no gameplay of this, so instead of dropping down to where I just was, drop down to the ledge right there. It's to your right. You'll definitely see it. It is so freaking obvious where it is. It's just a massive vex structure thing. You just drop down and continue and just land on it. And let me just tell you that this will save you so much freaking time. But then once you make it up top, you have a beautiful view of the Leviathan and so many other cool things. Like there's a waterfall right there as you can see but if you want to see even more cool stuff there's a ledge right here that you can jump onto then up top to your right there will be another ledge but be careful because there's a wall there that i just hit when going up as a perfect example that you have to jump out and then forward once you're here you can jump up and onto the ledge here jump up again and there will be a flat spot right where I just landed jump up and land here jump up and here but if you jump up too high you got to go right to where I am now if you jump up too high you'll hit a wall but right there you won't you're gonna run and jump here and then there's going to as you can see there's the wall thing I was talking about it's invisible from where you are then jump onto this tree root that is just floating in the middle of the air and then there's a platform right up here that you can jump up to and then if you come down over here something really crazy i am a magician if you follow this random path right here boom that is the barrier right there that i just showed you that we were on the complete other side of just before how crazy is that now just backtrack there's really nowhere else to go from there but there are many other places to go and i am sh positive that you guys will be able to find areas here that i still haven't discovered because this place is so massive i'll let you guys just explore this on your own but i'll just give you a quick review of what i saw if you look down here there's a platform there guess what there's a platform there but if you go on any of those i want to say that there is no coming back and you'll have to redo this all over again which is pretty annoying if you ask me then if you come down over here and jump on top of this ledge the height barrier is right above you so jump onto this and be careful because if you stay here for too long too long it'll tell you to turn back you can jump through or run through the wall right there because it is invisible and guess what you're back to the barrier you can jump up here and then jump up a little higher and then you can't really jump up anymore but there's just so much crazy things to do and i hope you guys can find some crazy things like i have thank you for watching please subscribe for more gameplay and content and i hope to see you all in the very next video